it's Coach Teef, and I'm here to talk about intervals. Now, what exactly are intervals? It's where you give a very hard effort, stop running completely, and then do it again. Now, I've got five tips for you to help you be more successful when you're running intervals. My first tip, do intervals at a max of about twice a week. They are very hard effort workouts and doing it any more than that might be pushing the envelope and inviting injury. There's other workouts you can do that aren't intervals that won't tax your body the same way that an interval does. My second tip for running intervals is pretty simple. You've got to warm up. Since you're going to do a hard effort and run faster than possibly your race pace, you need to be loose and ready for your, your intervals. So do a warm up. Also, consider doing some strides or some dynamic stretching to make sure you're loose and ready to go. The third thing for intervals that's very important is determining what type of interval you're going to do. Now early in the season, let's say I'm in the track season, I typically would do longer intervals, not as fast, and as the season progresses, the intervals would get shorter but much faster as I sharpen my speed. So, for instance, early in the season, maybe mile repeats, and then towards the end of the season, 400s over and over again. There's also other interval workouts like where you call them ladders, you go up the ladder like 100, 200, 300, 400, or cut downs, you start at 800, and then 600, 400, 200. There's a lot of different types of intervals, but nonetheless I suggest longer ones at the start of the season, and then shorter ones towards the end of the season that are faster paced. My fourth tip for intervals is managing your rest time. I actually suggest less rest time early in the season and more rest time later in the season. Let's go back to mile repeat intervals. Early in the season, I suggest you run a mile repeat at a decent pace, but then only give yourself one minute of rest and then run that mile repeat again at a decent pace. Later in the season, I'll run a fast one mile repeat, then get full recovery. Full recovery is when you give yourself probably about equal rest from whatever your interval. So let's say I run the mile in five minutes. Then I'm going to get five minutes of rest. Then I do another mile interval. So that's an example of how you're faster, but you get more rest time. Another example would be 400 repeats. Early in the season, we'll say we're doing 400 repeats at a slower pace, and you get 30 seconds of rest. Later in the season, maybe you're doing 400s really hard and you get 60 or 90 seconds of rest. So managing your rest time, I suggest shorter earlier in the season and longer rest time later in the season when you're sharpening your speed. And finally, my fifth tip for running intervals is to make sure you do a cool down run and stretch it out. Since you're giving a very good effort, for interval runs, you really need to make sure that you get your legs nice and, and cooled off. Try and get rid of a lot of those uh, problems or tight spots or lactic acid in your body so you recover quicker. An interval will damage your legs a little bit, but that's good because when you rest and you cool down, it builds itself back up stronger. So those are my five tips for intervals. Now go out there, give out a good effort, and see what you're made of.